Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Haba, Nick or Nahaba, and I'm bringing you a brand new video here today. And before the comments come, no, I am not in my normal location. I am actually in France with my fiance. I'm gonna be here for a couple months. So that is why the background is different, um, if you did notice, but if not, cool, whatever, no big deal. Uh, yeah, I've been absent recently, sorry, uh, but hopefully we'll be back on my grind. I've still been making beats, just haven't been making videos, so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right into this. So if you've been here before, you know I don't really ever have a plan going into these videos. Um, but today I've been making quite a bit of piano stuff and, uh, I've just been in that vibe. So we are just gonna do that. All right. So we are going to pull out the LA custom C7 grand piano and, uh, we're just going to start with some chords. I'm actually not going to start on the root note of the scale. I don't even know if that's the way to say that, but. So I like that. So I lowered my BPM and I pitched this to a D sharp minor. And I'm just gonna go over to view and then scale highlighting and go to D sharp. So I, I got my ghost notes here or my uh, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and now I'm just going to start making a melody. Alright, so I like this for my melody, uh, I'm just gonna press Alt S after I highlight my chords here, and that's just gonna strumize them, make them a little more, uh, human-y. And then I'm gonna press Alt R and randomize for my velocities here. So I press control B to duplicate over my uh, my melody. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna change this final uh, chord. I'm gonna have it drop down and see if I like that. I'm gonna drop it even more and see if I like how this is sounding. Nope, I don't like it. It sounds like too much, so I'm just gonna leave it how it was. But I am gonna come into this second half and add a, a little bit more different stuff to the melody.
All right, so I like that for my piano melody. I think I'm gonna change up this part right here though. I feel like it's kind of overshadowing the flick. Alright, so we're gonna go like that. First thing I'm gonna do with this melody, uh, first layer I'm gonna add is I'm gonna go into Keyscape again, and I'm gonna add a Rhodes. I'm gonna turn off Auto Pan just because that's that's what I do. Then I'm gonna copy and paste the the original piano, but I'm only gonna layer the chords. So I just uh, pitched it and I put it in C sharp minor. I'm gonna open up Electra here and I'm gonna look for a pad. All right, so as you guys hear, the melody sounds a lot different. What I did was I, I took half time and I put it on one fourth speed. Um, and then I EQ'd out a lot of the lows. And then I added a little bit of reverb uh, and just mess with this knob here. I think it just makes it a lot more, uh, I don't know if basic is the right word, but simpler for someone to catch a flow on. I feel like the first one had a little bit too much going on. We're still gonna use part of it and I'll show you what I mean by that. But uh, for now, this is what we're rocking with. Now I've got this voices thing from labs. I've never used it before. So forgive me if it's not cool, but uh, uh, we're gonna figure it out. So this is what I did with the vocals. Um, now I'm just gonna add some extra stuff to it. I like doing this a lot. Um, if you've watched my videos and I've used a vocal, I'm sure you've seen this. And then I'm gonna just throw a fruity love filter, tuck it in the back a little bit. Um, and then for this one, because it's a pretty straightforward voice, I'm actually gonna grab an effect rack and see if we can uh, do some interesting stuff with it. I really like that. I don't know exactly what it did, but to my ears, it feels like it opened it up a lot. I'm gonna add wider to this pad. And I kind of want to hear what it sounds like with crystallizer on it as well. Yeah, I like that. I always add wider to my roads, but I'm also gonna cut out the lows here. And then throw wider on there. This is a totally free plugin. I highly recommend it. I use it so much. All right, so I really like this. Uh, we're gonna start adding drums now. So uh, I got my hi hat here, and I've just got a basic two step, but uh. I want a little bit of variation in here, so I'm just gonna grab every other note and lower the velocities a touch. See, I like that. It's not much, it's a slight thing, uh, but it adds a little bit of flavor. I'm actually going to raise all these velocities of the second and third open hats by a little bit. So I'm going to grab an 808 now. I like that one. Spins. Now I'm just following my root notes here to ensure that uh, all my 808s are in key. I'm just 
gonna go mad basic with the 808. Literally just that. This beat isn't supposed to be anything insane, it's just for an artist to catch a vibe and be able to flow on it really easily. And I think we've done that. I think our, uh, our goal was met, soldier. The, uh, the final two open hats. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just gonna lastly add a kick to this. And what I'm gonna do with the kick is just put it on this one. This one. The, the one, the three, the five, and the seven. Just to emphasize those but not to follow it all the way through if you know what i mean or if yeah you hear what i mean i guess so i like the drums on this i'm just gonna mix it out real quick all right so i like the mix on this uh now i'm just gonna lay out the beat all right so remember when i said i was gonna come back to that original melody we had um, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it out. This is just to add some variation. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I created an automation clip on the halftime mix on the mixer. And I'm just going to lower it a little bit uh, for the hook. And we're going to see how that sounds. And if it sounds cool and sounds good, we're going to ride with it and it'll add a little bit of variation into the uh into the beat. Yeah, I really like that. It's like a slight change not much uh but yeah so i've got this whole beat laid out and um yeah that's gonna be all so i hope you guys did enjoy thank you guys so much for watching comment down below who you think would kill this beat um yeah if you learned something please leave a like if you didn't learn something subscribe you'll learn something in the next one uh, go check out my other videos and yeah, that was a really awkward outro as you can see I'm a bit rusty at this, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy Nick Haba or Nahaba and I'm out. Peace S